Hi everyone, it's me. I'm back to the video. Um, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh my god, this controls terribly. I bought Getting Over It. It was on sale, and I could afford it with my with my two dollars and forty six cents I got from selling my most of my TF2 items. So I was saving up for the Dusk soundtrack. Mm. So my strange critical of to, to help afford this. Mm. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Uh. Oh, um, nope. Uh. Yeah! Shit! There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, oh God! or if you left your wallet Shit! at home, and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, and it came up black. Not if you got your best shirt attention. dry cleaned before get, a wedding, and then out. immediately dropped food on it. Ah! If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. I think I might just straight up ruin it. I my 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 happiness been marked for death. I'm like yes! Oh my god, yes! No! Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Is that a threat? This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of oh, B mysterious. games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely. And they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than oh, as shit. polished products. I just moved my keyboard a bit. If I happen to be a masochist, I'm not. Whoop. Ah, shit. Fuck. This, uh, Whoop. this crapper. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. Oh, no, 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 Damn it! 
least I get a, like at least funny reaction in the video. Am I right? No! Fuck you! Just lost a lot of progress. For real, That's a for deep real. frustration. A real punch in the gut. I'm gonna punch myself in the gut, actually. Oh, never mind. That actually hurt a lot. What? So I was looking at the achievements only three, and it's like the hardest one you, you like have all for beating the game. Once for beating it two times, once for beating it one time, and once for beating it like, like 50 times. What the f oh, oh, yes! 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 In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled no! parts. No! and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Grenade launcher and strange criticola from this. I actually don't know if it's the festive grenade launcher so No! Fuck a cop. This is how it feels to play on Seo Mito. Play on this is, this is harder than dusk. I bet you this hard is harder than dusk and air. Difficult on dusk, but I'm not sure. I've, I've only beat one level in dusk and air, and that was for the achievement. And guess what level it was? Oh. Head cheese. The Oof. first. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> 
no, no. Oh my god, I hate you so much. You bitch. Ugh. Is this how it feels to chew five gum? Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated Why? obstacle in sexy hiking what is real. The hell? Oh my god! I hate you! Sensitivity. Ah. Hmm. Holy, Was holy mosquito on a ball sack, S sucking dick. What the fuck? Beautiful blasphemy. happen again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Why? I'm hooked! Why? Why do you do this to me? You bastard! If you need to take a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Oh, it's fine, dude. What? It's fine, bro. Just... That we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. I agree. Mary Pickford. Does it mean it's not fucking painful? <sighs> no, no, please, God, no! I'm so sorry, 
strange Criticola. This was such a waste. How do I get over there? That's how! Mm. Oh! 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 Uh, what the hell? What? No! Please! Get in there still, uh, boy. as a hoofy, but
say I'm gonna leave a negative oh. review. <clears throat> Cause that's I don't know the I don't know the creator's whereabouts, Ooh. and I if I did Ooh. I'd actually. Mm. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. Oh. You No! No! Yes. The obstacles in Sitsi hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. God, I hate you! When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas, and that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world, not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the 